Aloha guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State and today we're talking about how to properly load a spear gun as well as announcing our 1k giveaway winner so stay tuned. So before we get into the video, I want to announce the 1K giveaway winners, which are, I don't know if you guys can see the board, my markers all faded, but John Hewell, you want a free shirt, Sage Bonichi, you want a free hat, and the grand prize winner was Izzy Abe, I've already reached out to him, he won a shirt as well as a free custom hat with some embroidery on it from our website, fishanddivehawaii.com. So thank you for everyone who entered. Thank you guys for all your support so far. We're approaching 1,500 subscribers now. When we hit 2,000, we're gonna do an even bigger giveaway. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. So how to properly load a spear gun? This is a question that I didn't ask myself the first couple of years I was diving because I managed to shoot some fish and just dive with my gun without knowing the proper way to load it. Now this question came about when I was diving with my buddy of mine and he asked me why I was loading my spur gun this way and he actually showed me the correct way to do it because I was doing it wrong the whole time. Now I'm going to be demonstrating it with my personal gun. This is a Hatch Customs Amaro 55 inch or 115 centimeter. If you guys haven't already seen this gun, it's been in my previous videos. Just, just click right here if you guys want to go watch them. And we're going to be demonstrating it with this gun right here. So what is the importance of properly loading a spear gun? Well, the first thing is it's going to be more accurate. You guys are going to get better, more accurate shots. I know a lot of people have been asking me what ways you can make it more accurate. And if you guys aren't properly loading the spear gun now, this definitely is going to help your accuracy. The second reason why is that it's going to increase your band longevity. We all know that it's kind of a pain in the butt to switch out your guys' bands, especially if one is worn out and the other one is still good. It's kind of a waste of money. If you guys learn how to properly load your spear gun, you'll be saving some money and some time by not having to change out your bands as much. And the third reason is that's going to be much easier for you guys to load this spear gun the proper way. Now real quick, let's go over some basics. You guys are always going to want to make sure you guys a shop is locked into the trigger housing or the trigger mechanism, whatever you guys want to call it. And one telltale indicator, if it's locked or not, is a side piece where you guys put the line on top. It's going to be rock solid. If it isn't locked in all the way, this thing is going to be loose and you're not going to be able to put the excess line on top. Now whether you have an enclosed track or an open track, enclosed track is this right here which helps guide the spear gun or the open track, you want to make sure the shaft is sitting on top of that track regardless. So say you guys shoot the gun and you're trying to redo the line, make sure you guys have the line sitting inside of the bands. And one easy way to tell that is just to lift the bands up. You can tell it's on right here, opposed to being outside so you guys don't get that awkward shot. Now the bread and butter of this video and the whole reason why I'm making it is this purpose right here. Now you guys probably have two bands on your spear gun like this one resting on top of the other. What I used to do when I was doing it incorrectly was I'd take the lowest band and stretch it out to the closest shark fin, and I'd take the top band and stretch it out all the way to the longest shark fin. Now the reason why that's incorrect is because you're not gonna get as much flex, or you're not gonna get an even flex on both of the bands opposed to doing it the proper way, which is this right here. So you guys can see, you set one underneath the other one, so I'm gonna put the top band underneath the lower one and you're going to stretch it out all the way to the first shark fin and with the lower one which you used to stretch to the closest one you're going to stretch that way all the way out to the top one so it gives it that even amount of stretch you guys are going to get way more accurate shots you're not going to be straining one band more than the other one and it's just going to be easier because you're going to have the same amount of pressure stretching both bands and we all know how hard it is to put the bands on the gun. Well, at least for me it is. So I hope that makes sense. I'm going to run it real quick again so you guys can see it underwater in action right here. So if you guys are doing it incorrectly like I was, I hope this video 
was helpful. If you guys have any questions about it, I know it can be a little bit confusing. Just comment them down below. You guys can check us out on Instagram at Team Fish and Dive, Facebook Fish and Dive Hawaii. And I just want to thank all you guys for the support. Congrats to the giveaway winners, and we'll have another episode coming out next week. All right, so stay tuned. See you guys later. Shoot some mahalo. Bye bye. I almost forgot to tell you guys there's an Instagram giveaway going on today. Go check it out. We are launching a new hat and a new shirt. So go enter the contest. It's super simple, sim simple, and you guys have a chance to win a hat and a shirt. So go check it out. And again, see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.